Hi guys, Dr. YouTube here doing another Black Lives Matter movement, idiots. Is that good sheriff, guys? Check it out. CNN political commentator Mark Lamont Hill and Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark, thanks for coming on. The guy on the left here is an idiot. This is he has not a clue what obviously goes on in America. It's fair to link this murder to the Black Lives Matter yes. movement. Yes, it's their the fault. I think it's very fair in light of the anti-cop rhetoric that is, that is sweeping the United States of America, fueled by this group, some of the vulgar, vile, vicious rhetoric that's coming out talking about killing cops and that's just some of the nice stuff some of the stuff i can't even say uh, here on tv but uh there is no doubt in my mind that the two new york officers uh ramos and and, and lou were gunned down by an individual who made facebook uh, uh postings about wanting to kill pigs and he was going to go out and hunt officers down there have been officers across the united states who had their cruisers shot at and struck while they patrol St. Louis, the same thing. Yes, this is part of a pattern now, and you'd have to stick your head in the sand to think that this thing here wasn't fueled by this vile, vulgar, slimy movement. Mark? Um, well, I disagree with your characterization of the other, but I would, I'd be curious to ask you, do you think that every cop who's been killed this year is connected somehow, the death is connected to BLM? No, but there's an increase in assaults on police officers killings of police officers that may not be directly related to this movement but you know there's no fear anymore about assaulting or attacking fighting disarming or yeah. or generally uh like i said assaulting law enforcement officers and you know what if the shoe fits wear it just like the uh, dylan rook right went into a church and slaughtered nine church goers and every white person in america by this black lies movement l-i-e-s was was indicted because of that and other people came yeah. out and talked about discrimin slavery discrimination live and well in the united states well, well that's why i said if the shoe fits here where right I, i'm glad that you're saying if the shoe fits because as a police officer i would hope you would want to emphasize things like probable cause do suspicion investigation the the police officials Darren let, Wilson let didn't get that mark you know that the finish. officers in the freddie gray case the, the sheriff, did not sheriff, get sheriff, that sheriff, sheriff. assumption of innocence sheriff. so for you to stand sheriff, up and, and throw that sheriff. out now it's huh. it's it's sheriff, it's, it's, it's Right, it's hypocritical. It's hypocritical. Right. It's hypocritical. It is. You're a hypocrite. You, you piece of crap, dude. The Freddie Gray case didn't get yeah, look at your watch. Innocent. You idiot. All right, I'll let you speak the entire He's sending back to Germany, Germany or where the hell he goes from, you idiot. By law, we're entitled to a presumption of innocence. Even if you think that those people didn't get what they deserved, as a police officer, I hope you wouldn't say, well, two wrongs make a right. If anything, we should be emphasizing due process and investigation here. And in this case, the people handling the case in Texas themselves have said, very clearly, we don't know the motive. So you're essentially saying that your colleagues in law enforcement who said we don't know the motive are wrong and that you yeah. do know the motive. The second piece I want to say is, is that your smart dude, of Black Lives asked. Matter is absolutely incorrect. The argument of Black Lives Matter is not to say that police officers should be killed, yep, that police officers is. should be demonized, that yep, police officers is. should be marginalized. The yep. argument of Black Lives Matter is that police officers should should be held to standards of accountability just like everybody and else. And they and are, you idiot. Black bodies, or the sustaining of black bodies which die at the hands of state violence needs to end. It means that while we regard all lives, we what cannot about, exclude black what lives. About, what about the black victims that die at the hands of other black people? Huh? That doesn't seem to huh? Answer that, you moron. Yeah, see, it don't matter to him. Rare instances of the police use of force. But let me ask you this, Sheriff Clark, I mean, just looking at the numbers here, if we're going to bring that up, there were 24 unarmed African Americans killed by police this year. That's according to the Washington Post. So when you Who take believes that the Washington account, Post? Sheriff Clark, do you think that African Americans, people part of this protest, no. have a right to have their voices heard in the protest? It's not a matter of whether they have a right. It's, whether, it's a matter of whether it's legitimate. There are 104 homicides in the city of Milwaukee right now. I think there were 79 last year. Baltimore, 214. They've already matched all of, of 2014. So when you want to take that 24, I'm not saying that, uh, that none of that is legitimate in terms of taking a look at them, but how many of them were ruled justifiable? How many of the, the, the uh, uh, uses of force huh. were determined Hear to be that. reasonable and justifiable? And let's compare that 24 to the number of stops made 
by police officers during that time period. And you'll find that that is a very, huh. very... Hear that? The guy on the left, like, duh. Uh, 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 spit it out, moron. Or you can't, I didn't think so. Uh, 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 that most police officers are uh, unlawful, unlawful. Uh, this is the Black Lives Matter line to you guys. The argument is, is that it happens too often. I'll cut it right here. There you go. Uh, 